What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and it's finally available. We've had it for a while now, but um, it's been a while since we uh, had time to get some Yankee stuff for you. So today we're going to look at the AH-64 Apaches. Um, so, you know, the Cobras used to be there for a long time, the Hueys, but we finally have the Apaches for you guys. So, um, as you can imagine, we get two of these bad boys here. Uh, the flight stands for it, Rare Earth Magnets, Assembly Guide, of course, and then the unit card. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of stats these guys have. So we'll be right back for you guys after we get this open and sort it out. Alrighty guys, got everything opened up here for you. So we get our flight stands with magnetic base or magnets uh, for the uh, the flight stands themselves. Um, you know, these guys, I mean, they're the flight stands that you see from every other um, airplane and helicopter and whatever that uses the flight stands. So we're going to be very brief with that uh, assembly guide there so you can kind of see what all is required to basically um, build the Apaches here. Uh, it looks like there's an H64A. And then a D as well, so the longbow, I would believe, there. But it doesn't look too bad overall, considering, um, you know, what all the uh, the helicopter actually carries. So, I mean, you got the wing stubs there, the uh, the chain gun uh, underneath, uh, engine and everything else. So, not too bad. Um, so, it should be fun uh, to paint and assemble and all that fun stuff there. Um, we'll come back to the card in just a second, guys, but, you know, we're here for the model itself, and um, I like that's, you know, the green pre-colored plastic there, so, you know, not too shabby just to get a game with it as soon as you assemble it, and you can always paint uh, whenever you have the time, but, um, yeah, really good details here. Uh, again, no, uh, no resin or metal or anything on this. This is a 100% plastic kit, um, so, yeah, so a lot of the... Uh, Weapons like the wings and stuff around here, seemingly the, the little uh, dome for the longbow version, uh, the rotor. Uh, let's flip this over for you guys so you can kind of see the the inside bits of that. So again, you basically get two sprues of everything, so naturally with two helicopters. And as you can kind of see from uh, my hand there, so pretty good size uh, helicopter when this thing is all, um, you know, assembled and ready to go. So, um, and just good detail on the hull there, canopy and everything, uh, tail rotor, you got the guns, the hellfires and all that. So this should be uh, really cool again once it's built. But let's get on to the stats uh, and see what this is all about. So um, helicopter, of course, aircraft unit, hunter, killer, and thermal imaging. Uh, morale's four up, courage and skill four up as well. Hit on four up and aircraft save of four up as well. Um, naturally unlimited range and doesn't really, you know, doesn't test across things. So basically we get three weapon systems here and, um, you know, you'll be familiar with those if um, you know anything about the Apache patchy in real life anyway but um so we have sort of the main one for dealing with tanks and other like heavily armored things that would be the hellfire so six minimum 16 to 64 there um has to be uh, halted of course for uh, that um uh, one shot there uh anti-tank 25 so really should get through just about everything um although i guess some of the newer things uh you know mbts and stuff like that some of them will have uh 20 or so on the front, but um, still um, going to do some damage. And anything that is not a frontline MBT um, is going to have a hard time saving against it if it can at all. And does have a firepower of three up there. Uh, it is guided and heat. Um, we do con or we do have also the 30 mil chain gun, which can you know deal with lighter vehicles, APCs, that kind of stuff. Uh, and just rip those up. Um, halted rate is um, six there. Moving is three. Uh, just a range of six on that. Um, would have suspected that that would have had just a little bit more range on it. Um, but, um, oh well. Um, Anti-tank 8, though. Um, firepower 5 up. Um, and then anti-helicopter, anti actually, on it, which is really cool. Uh, and heat as well. Uh, and then we have the rocket launchers. Um, so 16-inch range there uh, as a salvo. Uh, Anti-tank 4, so um, not really designed uh, for vehicle work there. Um, uh, although, you know, if it's like, you know, low armor, like to no armor, basically, um, you know, that's where you can do some work. Firepower of six and just one shot only, basically. Um, 
So if we flip over here, and these guys are going to be pretty pricey for you too, as are so many of the, the nice toys here for the Americans. But uh, basically six points per helicopter, so you can go with either two, or if you buy you know another box, you can go with the full four. Um, and um, yeah, so you know you run the four here, 24 points. Um, Anti-helicopter uh, is a really cool rule, obviously. Shoot at helicopters. Um, guided is nice, again, no hit penalty for over um, 16. Um, can't hit infantry unless they're in bulletproof cover and stationary. Um, heat, of course, we all know what that is. Um, so many things have heat uh, rounds. Hunter killer is really cool, so it can be concealed by tall terrain um, within four inches of it and can remain gone to ground while moving, so um, that lets you uh, sort of practice what the... Uh, Apache kind of does in the real world uh, to an extent in the game. One shot. So basically, yeah, you know, pick pick a good target for your rockets, and yeah, it's a, it's a one-time only thing. And then finally, thermal imaging. Roll two dice for night visibility, choose the highest score, and know to hit penalties for night and smoke. So, you know, the Apache is going to be effective um, whether it's daytime or not. Oops, we are throwing that card all over the place. So that is the... Uh, new Apache for you guys, uh, badass uh, uh, helicopter here, um, and certainly a step up from the capabilities of things like the Cobra and the Huey, um, and really giving uh, the U.S. Uh, that sort of premier um, helicopter uh, ability that it needed in the game. So let us know your thoughts on um, what you think about the Apache, whether stat-wise or the model, and how you've used it in the game so far, uh, your experiences there, good or bad, where has it performed well, uh, where has it struggled, um, are you just running two or four or more uh, if you're playing like custom games or whatever, uh, what do you find is the sweet spot there? So hit us up in the comments, guys. Uh, drop us a like and subscribe as well. It helps keep the channel growing. we got plenty more Team Yankee content coming for you guys. Got some more unboxings and then um, pretty soon here also finally some battle reports. So I know we've been looking forward to them. Hope you guys have been looking forward to some as well. Um, so as things get somewhat back to normal, hopefully, uh, we'll be having uh, battle reports on the regular for you guys. So thanks so much for hanging out with us, guys. We'll see you in the next one.